What's going on guys? It's New York Prepper here. In this video I'm going to be testing my 416 Ruger again. We're going to have some fun and we're going to be shooting this elephant rifle cartridge into this giant uh, white oak firewood piece. Okay, look at how big this thing is. Um, it's absolutely massive. It weighs probably 200 pounds. I had to carry this thing and lift it up on these stands here. Um, and it's obviously firewood season is beginning here in uh, the northern United States. People burn firewood now. So uh, what I want to do is I want to shoot into this piece of wood with the 416 Ruger elephant rifle. And we're going to see if it can penetrate through this giant log. Okay. I'm pretty sure this is white oak. Looks like white oak to me. White oak is one of the more dense uh, woods that you can you can get. Um, that's what they make uh, wood floors out of. It's a very dense wood. All right, look at this nice grain. Um, there's no knots in this thing. All right, it's perfectly, perfectly round. I got lucky with this one. I found it from a, a guy and, um, you know, he was looking to get rid of it. So he's taking up space on his property. So I said, let me grab it and I'll shoot into it and see what happens. And when I was actually buying this, he was asking me, why I only wanted one piece because most people that buy wood for burning you know they buy a few of these and I said well I'm actually going to be shooting it uh shooting at it um and he started laughing it was pretty uh pretty funny uh when I told him that and he actually ended, uh turned out that he was a hunter himself he didn't think that I could uh penetrate through this log with this 416 Ruger I don't know what's going to happen we'll see um so what we're going to do is we're going to shoot two different cartridges we're going to shoot the uh, buffalo bore 350 grain solid this one is traveling at 2650 feet per second generating 5500 foot pounds of muzzle energy we're going to shoot this one and then we're going to also shoot the uh, hornady dangerous game solid this one is a uh, solid steel bullet with a lead core all right i've done penetration tests with this one um, and both of these actually, and, uh, this one's traveling at 2,400 feet per second, generating 5,100 foot pounds of muzzle energy. And these two cartridges, if you haven't checked out my penetration tests with these, these things are absolute monsters. Um, this 350 grain, uh, solid from Buffalo Bore, uh, penetrated through 25 two by 10, uh, joists. Douglas for 2x10 joists, okay, 25 of them, that's uh, almost 40 inches of wood of Douglas fir, and this one penetrated through 26, so I think it's going to be close, we'll see what happens here, I'm just going to take a measurement for you guys so you can see how, how thick it is, but it's pretty much 22 inches, uh, the, long, the longest part of it is 22 inches, and it's kind of, if you see, it's kind of like a, an oval shape, and the narrower section is about 20 inches, all right? So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot the uh, narrow section first, and we'll see if we can pass through the narrow section. If we pass through the narrow section, we'll uh, shoot the longer section and see if we can pass through that. So uh, I'm really interested to see if, if these rounds here are going to penetrate. Um, I've been wanting to do this for a very long time. So stick around and let's see what happens, guys. All right, guys, just wanted to show you the measurement here. You can see at the longest, longest section is 22 inches, okay? You see that's 22 inches, all right? That's the longer section. And then if we measure the narrower section here, you can see it's about 20, 19 or 20 inches, okay, roughly. All right, so uh, let's see what happens, guys. Stay tuned. I want to show you guys something funny. That piece of wood is so heavy that it bent my uh, ra my range cart. All right, um, this range cart is supposed to have like a 200 pound capacity, I think, or 150 pounds, and it just crumpled the wheels. As you see, they're all bent. So now I got to get a new range cart. Um, all right, guys. So. The gun that I'm going to be shooting these 416 Rugers out of today is the uh, Ruger M77 Hawkeye uh, guide gun. 
okay this is a uh, synthetic stock that I have here it's a uh, controlled round feed bolt action all right it's got a 20 inch barrel all right um, and I have a one to six power Athlon scope on here okay all right stand by and we'll start shooting and let's see what happens we're gonna be shooting at 25 yards for safety reasons I don't want to get too close in case there's some kind of a ricochet or you know sometimes the bark of a log like that may have debris in it like rocks or you know different screws or something and I don't want that flying back at me so I'm gonna shoot from 25 yards all right so stand by all right guys first shot 25 yards Hornady dangerous game solid 400 grain all right let's see what happens here All right, let's check it out and see what happens. All right, guys, it looks like the first shot passed through. I'm going to take two more shots just for curiosity. Um, so stand by and I'll take those shots right now so you guys can see. All right, guys, we punched through all three shots with the 400 grain Dangerous Game Solid from Hornady. All right, I used this little old shotgun shell as a reference point for the fattest part, and I shot a three-shot group here. And uh, it's going to be a little bit hard for me to show you the entrance holes, but I want to show you the exit holes. All right, here's one exit hole there. There's one exit hole there. And there's another exit hole there, all right? Three exit holes in this giant white oak log. Look at that. Absolutely insane, insane power, okay? All right, guys. So these are the exit holes from the 400 green Hornady Dangerous Game Solid penetrated through this 20-inch uh, log. Okay, look at this insanity here. 
all right it penetrated it penetrated through all this wood 20 inches of oak all right that is absolutely insane it's a little bit hard to see the entrance holes here um, I think there's let's see one right here that's one entrance hole there I don't know if you guys can see that one entrance hole there one entrance hole here and the other entrance hole, I believe, is right here, okay? So we have th uh, two entrance holes here, and then one up there. Okay, these are the entrance holes right through the fattest part of the wood, all right? Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually, I'm going to turn this wood the other way, because if you remember, this was 20 inches across. So I'm going to rotate the wood. Um, 90 degrees or whatever and I'm going to shoot it this way this this is the longest section of the wood this is 22 inches of white oak here okay so I'm going to turn the wood I'm going to shoot it through this way and we'll see if we can shoot it through this way here 22 inches of white oak guys absolutely insane Hornady 400 grain dangerous game solid absolutely insane penetration on this thing all right look at that Look at that. Nice exit holes there. Um, absolutely insane. Okay. So you can see from a little further back what it looks like. All right. There are the three exit holes. Absolutely monstrous piece of wood. This thing is not rotted at all. It is fully uh, not rotted. It's solid oak. Okay. That is insane penetration right here. So. I'm going to rotate the wood and we'll see if we can shoot it through the longest section of the wood, 22 inches of white oak. So stand by. All right, guys, so I've rotated the wood. We're going to try to shoot through here and pass through all this oak here, 22 inches of white oak. All right, so I'll stand by and let's see what happens here. All right, guys, so I'm going to try to shoot through the longest part of the wood now. Let's see what happens here. It's 22 inches of white oak. Let's see what happens. Looks like we passed through the first shot. All right, I'm gonna take two more and let's see what happens. All right, let's go check it out.
right, guys. Look at these three exit holes here. They punch through 22 inches of white oak. 400 grain dangerous game solid from Hornady. Made easy work of this 22 inch white oak piece of wood. Absolutely insane. Look at these exit holes here. I got one there, one there, and one there. Okay. So let me show you exactly. Um, this shot was actually perfect right here. Went right through the, the longest part of the wood. Let me see if I could show you. Uh, so I was aiming right where the shotgun shell was. This kind of gave me a reference point. So looks like looks like I hit somewhere right in here. The entrance hole is somewhere in here. It looks like right here I made an entrance hole. Okay. You can see this nice little uh, entrance hole right there. Okay. And uh, it went through entrance holes right here. It went through the fattest part of the wood, 22 inches of white oak. All right. And exited right here. Okay. So look at that, guys. That is absolutely insane penetration. So. All right, guys, so the 400 grain Hornady Dangerous Game Solid penetrated through 22 inches of white oak. All right, made quick work of this piece of white oak here. Look at how solid this wood is. No rotting, no nothing. Um, look at those three exit holes there. So now we're going to shoot the Buffalo Bore 350 grain solid. And we're going to see if the Buffalo Bore 350 grain solid can penetrate just like the Hornady uh, 400 grain dangerous game solid. So stand by and let's see how the Buffalo bore does. All right guys, I'm actually gonna have to turn this log over so this way I can get some fresh wood to shoot into so I don't shoot into the same hole. Got some fresh wood to shoot into so this way we don't hit the same holes all right guys so here we have the buffalo bore 350 grain solid traveling at 2650 feet per second generating 5500 foot pounds of muzzle energy all right so let's see if we can't penetrate that giant white oak log 22 inches of white oak. All right, let's see what happens here. All right, let's go check out the first shots and see what happened.
right guys, I am absolutely stunned at the power of the 416 Ruger. The last two shots that I took with the Buffalo Boar 350 grain solid, they entered right here, per pretty much perfect shots. I was aiming in this, in this area right here because this was fresh wood that I didn't shoot into yet. I used this old shell as a, as a uh, uh, marker. So I hit two shots here and we had a perfect exit hole, okay? Both of them exited, look at this, okay? Look at that, look at these exit holes here. Absolutely impressive. These are the old exit holes, I covered them with some tape. This is from the uh, 400 grain Hornady, okay? These were the three from the 400 grain Hornady. Uh, and these are the two Buffalo Bore 350 grain solids. All right, look at that penetration, guys. 22 inches of oak, okay? 22 inches of white oak. All right, these are the uh, exit holes. And this is the longest part of the wood right here, okay? 22 inches. All right, I'm gonna get the tape measure and measure it again just so you guys can see. But this is absolutely insane. All right, so the results of the experiment were very positive. We penetrated through 22 inches of white oak, fresh white oak, no rotting. This is fresh wood, solid as a rock, okay? Um, solid oak, white oak is one of the toughest oaks. And we had the Buffalo Boar 350 grain solid penetrate. And we had the 400 grain dangerous game solid from Hornady also pass through, okay? Through the through the biggest part of the wood here, 22 inches of white oak, all right? So I am absolutely impressed by the 416 Ruger. If you're looking to go dangerous game hunting or, or bear hunting, um, you know, this is, this is the cartridge you wanna get, um, especially out of that 20 inch barrel uh, Ruger guide gun. It's very easy to carry. It, it handles like a like a home defense shotgun. It's very compact. I think the overall length is like 38 or 39 inches. It handles like my home defense shotgun. Very easy to handle in in dense brush. Okay. Um, so I highly recommend this 416 Ruger. It won't let you down, guys. There's a lot of people out there that say that it's uh you know a uh, not a good cartridge and all this stuff, but. You know, don't listen to the internet message boards. You know, you have to look at what actually happens in the real world. And look at what happened here. All right, we penetrated through 22 inches of white oak. Absolutely insane. All right, guys, I had a really good time doing this test today. I hope you enjoyed the video. And let me know if there's anything else you want me to shoot with this 416 Ruger. Okay, and... uh let me know what ideas you have for things you want to see uh, destroyed or any kind of penetration testing you want me to do. Uh, I'm really loving this rifle. Uh, this is a beautiful rifle. It handles well. Um, I may actually even use this for deer hunting this year uh, just so I could test it out against a live game. Um, but I, I obviously there's no, no problems with that. Um, so thanks for watching guys, uh, hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and as always take care, God bless and don't forget the three P's, prepare, practice and persevere. This takes me back to my strongman days of lifting atlas stones, giant atlas stones. This thing is absolutely heavy as hell.